Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Jürgen Hoffmann and I am a MainView software consultant in Germany. I want to invite you to a quick journey through the world of monitoring of CICS systems. MainView for CICS is organized into separate online, offline and data collection component. The data collection component gathers and retains the performance information that is used by both the online and the offline components. You use the offline component called Performance Reporter to create printed reports from the historical data saved in MainView for CICS dataset. In this session, we will focus on the online services and learn how to examine the status and performance of our CICS regions interactively. Let's start from the easy SSI menu to different views by placing the cursor on a field and pressing enter. Fields that have a leading dot take you to a view containing data. Fields that have a leading crescent sign take you to another EC menu. Let's select analysis table and see view C region. C region provides a performance analysis of each CICS region within the current context. We can see several indicators that represent the status of the CICS region, including total CPU, CPU percentage, EXCP rate, transaction rate, average response times, and more. Personally, I prefer the real-time version of this view, called C Region R. We enter the name of the view C Region R in the command field and hit enter. By default, we work with a context of all. This is a predefined context and shows all subsystems in the specific type. In this case, it means all CICS systems. To zoom in on one CICS, you can enter con subsystem name. No additional context definitions are required. Now we see only one CICS, C-A-G-A-A-O-R. In addition to the predefined context, like all or current sys, you can define your own context. For example, you may want a context of all test CICS regions or all application-owning regions. Most CICS environments have dozens or even hundreds of subsystems. MainView single system image functionality makes it easy to see all of the subsystems at once or to see a group of the subsystems at once. Here we see the two AORs application owning regions. Let's go back to the context of all, where we see all subsystems. Press PF11 to scroll to the right. The weight is used to order the CICS systems in this C region of you, so that the inactive systems are on the top, active systems with problems are next, and active normal systems are on the bottom of the list. The initial value for weight is 1. Every severity message increases this number by 64, and every warning message increases it by 1. Subsystem CBGM has one severity message, plus two warning messages, plus the initial value of 1 for a total weight of 67. We can hyperlink to any count field to see the messages. We see that region CPGM suffers from three problems. A severity message displayed in red shows that transaction PETO is over the defined limit for elapsed time. Warning messages displayed in yellow show that the same transaction has used more than 5 CPU seconds and that the extended dynamic storage area has used more than the defined limit of 80%. This leads to the next question, where do we define these limits? 
In the old days, we had to define and change a macro to create a CMR PRBT module. Now we have a dialog available from the CICS SSI menu hyperlink on administration menu. Here we select the responsible product address space by hyperlinking on the target name. Now we drill down on problem definitions. On the CMR PRPT view, we change into edit mode by entering edit on the command line. Now we can enter the line command change to reach the dialog where we can edit the problem threshold table. At the first panel, we can determine the target CICS. As you see here, wildcards like asterisks or plus signs are allowed. We can define common thresholds for all systems, but you may want to define different thresholds for different CICS systems. We can exclude transactions or files. For example, we can exclude long-running transactions. Type next in the command line to continue setting parameters. In this second panel of the dialog, we can change the values by simply overtyping. After making the changes, press PF3 to save and exit. We save the changes by submitting the primary command save. You can activate the new problem threshold table dynamically by entering the reset command or by entering the line command PRL in view CREC HET. Main view for CICS provides a dashboard view that shows key performance indicators in traffic light colors, red, yellow and green, and in reverse display. Thank you for your time.